Now I'm gonna show you how to throw a left hook. Okay, now a left hook needs to be just as tight and just as confident thrown as what a right cross is thrown. Now, left hook has got a lot and lot of power thrown from the big toe, right the way through the hip, right the way through up into the body. But this time, instead of using our back leg, we're actually gonna be using our front leg. Okay, so we're now in a fight stance here. Now to throw a left hook, I want to start off the left hook if I throw it singular on its own without the right cross first, is I need to slightly dip my body. Now the reason I'm gonna dip my body is because I'm then basically setting up the punch. Instead of pulling my arm back, like this, as some people do to throw the left hook, what I want to do is keep my hands up nice and tight, protect my face, and I want to dip my body here, which then sets up the left hook. One of the biggest mistakes people do with the left hook is when they're here and they dip the body, they pull the hand away, which opens up this side of the face for a strike. What I am going to do is dip my body and just bring my hand forward, which then keeps this face covered. Although it's open here, the guy in front of you can't still hit you on the jaw from there. So I'm here, I tilt to the side, I bring my hand forward. Now from there, I'm actually just going to lift up my elbow to this position. As I bring my hand out, lift up to there, then from then on, it's all my leg, my hip, and my body that's going to take over. So we're going to be here. Tilt, bring your hand forward. Bring your elbow up, then I'm going to twist on my big toe. My big toe is going to do all the work. What I need to try and imagine is that I just put a cigarette on the floor and I'm actually going to stand on it and put it out. So I put the cigarette down, I stood on it, and I'm going to put the cigarette out. My side of my body, my leg, should be facing my opponent when I throw the left hook. So when I do this, tilt, hand forward, elbow up. Now my hand, arm, hip, everything is going to work as one is a left hook, okay? Now, a lot of people like to keep the arm parallel to the floor. I've even seen people throw left hook and they bring the elbow up higher. I still like to throw my left hook when there's a slight little incline, just a slight 45 degree angle, okay? So I'm gonna show you nice and slow on the pad. In this position now, I'm gonna tilt slightly, bring my hand forward. As I lift my elbow, I'm gonna twist my leg my hip and I hit. Now, what you have to try and do is, you've got to try and imagine that when I hit the pad, my elbow's not stiff and I'm doing that and turning my body. I am whipping the movement up, whipping the movement. If you can imagine, he has an object on top of that pad and I am going to hit it off. I'm going to hit the pad. I'm not going to knock it off with a stiff arm. I'm going to whip. Whip, and at the same time, this whipping movement comes all the way through your body, through into the end of the punch. Fight stance, tilt. I start off with the back toe, and I work up onto the front toe. So from here, tilt. Arm comes forward, elbow comes up, and strike at the same time as I move my body. <laughs> Left hook, straight back. A couple more slow motion than we do with for real. Tilt. Hand forward, elbow up, strike. Nice, loose movement. Everything should be loose. Tilt, hand forward, elbow comes up as I twist. Nice movement. Now we'll show what it looks like for real. Left hook, followed by a right hand. It's a powerful combination.